Hey guys, welcome to Pipe Talk. Uh, today you're going to be brought to a pretty special location in my opinion. A uh, really cool location. I figure, you know, I like smoking the pipe, but there's absolutely nothing better than smoking the pipe in historical places. I'll be there in just one moment. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. Today, I'm smoking a pipe just by a World War II bunker. It's in DeBert, Nova Scotia. It's still around. Uh, it's not currently being used by the military anymore. Now it's just for tours and stuff like that and different uh, government workers. But yeah, as you guys may know, I was in the military, uh, the Army Reserves for six years. Uh, did a few contracts up in Gagetown. Really enjoyed it. Um, this base is no longer in use, only the range. Um, I almost came up to the range here once, but it ended up being canceled. They still have some barracks over there that aren't e being used anymore. One of the old barracks is now a museum. I never got to check that out, but I'd like to go check it out soon. When I was doing training for corrections, we were actually in there doing use of force training. It's a really neat location. Um, this whole old base is a really nice location. They still do training, like I said, for corrections and law enforcement over here. Uh, the military is over here sometimes just to go to the range and stuff, but that's about it. No more, it isn't really a base anymore. Pipe I've got today is a pipe I actually uh, purchased today. Medico. Um, smoking some good old Colts Gold uh, Deluxe. I really enjoy this pipe. I really like the small bowl on it. Uh, I could smoke this little bowl for about an hour if I wanted to. But yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing 1949 Rogers Majestic Television. Uh, I think you're really going to enjoy the review. I'm not very informed on televisions. I just thought I'd show you guys what I did with mine. Some of you guys might hate on me. Some of you guys might enjoy it. So. Keep in mind, I, uh, I'm really big on antique, uh, antique products, uh, antique items in general. Love it. It's one of my biggest pastimes. So yeah, today that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. I figured I'd come out here and show you guys this neat little location. Hopefully someday we'd be able to go in there and show you guys around and be neat. So this, this is the old antique TV that I'm going to be reviewing today. Uh, it's a Rogers Majestic. I believe it's a 1949. So I got that for only about $50. I thought it was way too cool not to get. Unfortunately, some of you guys are going to bash me for this, but I did put a flat screen inside of it. Reason to be. Way too expensive to get it fixed for me right now. I did save all the parts, so if ever I do want to restore it, I'll be able to get it done. But for now, I just threw a flat screen in there just because it's kind of like my little man cave in here. And uh, yes, yeah, so I got all the antiques. I got the gramophone over there, which I'm gonna explain in another video. So yeah, basically what I did with this, gutted the inside, just got a, I think it was a 21 inch uh, computer monitor. Um, there's no volume out of that monitor. So what I did do, is I bought this matching speaker, got this at a Winners. Uh, it's just a little Bluetooth speaker, so when I do turn it on, volume will come out of here. I thought it was a little, thought it was a neat little addition to this whole thing. So what we do down here, as you can see, it's kind of like a, a 1920s to 1940s that decor down here with all of my military stuff and everything else, uniforms. So this is the man cave. This is where the whiskey is, beer fridge, all my pipes which I'm not gonna show you all today. You've seen a little bit of a few of my corn cob pipes, but I'll show you the rest another day. So yeah, this is this is basically it. I'll, uh, I'll put something on for you guys and show you. So here it is. Right now I've got Charlie Chaplin playing uh, from Netflix on here. And again, I find it's really neat. Um, it's really easy, you can watch any movie off of it as opposed to having to pay a few grand to get it fixed, which I don't have right now, but down the road, I definitely will because this is this is great. 
really for 50 bucks you can't go wrong and uh, I think a lot of people think it's really neat come down here have a few drinks and you watch some classics I love it it's great so again not much else to say about this old TV I'm no expert so I just think it's pretty cool I thought you guys I could show you guys uh, if you have any questions about how to just literally just put the flat screen in there um, so around it because so basically I just put some black tape on the top and bottom looks like it's part of the TV so here it is um, again I used a computer monitor I thought that worked the best for me the stand was nice and high um, because the platform is kind of low I think a regular TV you need to put it on something but with the computer monitor it was it was perfect the stand is nice and high and it's perfect again that little Bluetooth speaker I think it cost me like 25 bucks it's nothing special but I found it was really neat it matched the whole thing so yeah um, I've always been interested in these antiques I think if you can't fix it do something creative out of it right so this is the cheap method of restoring an old TV right Thanks for watching Pipe Talk. Hope you uh, enjoyed that antique review. There's more to come. I'm gonna try to make as many videos as I can for you guys. Um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Also, if I'm reviewing some of these items and there's some very interesting uh, information that you guys would like to let me know about, please comment and let me know. I'm really interested in having more knowledge on some of these items. I'm no expert in no means. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Thanks, guys.